Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where today we are in SnowRunner and we are attempting to <clears throat> open up the garage. Uh, so we did the broken power station last time. That brought us out to here, where we currently are. Uh, we had to bring the two metal beams, which was uh, quite a challenge. And uh, yeah, now we need to do this task that's right here. And uh, from what I understand, once we complete this task, we will uh, unlock the garage and then uh, the real funds can start. So um, that that this task right here, I just noticed it's um, a little fitting if, if you're watching this when basically at the time of the recording, you'll you'll understand why. Uh, but anyways, enough said about that. Uh, we will, we have to go to the farm here to pick up the, the timber. So we need uh, two planks, which we can pretty much just do with the, uh, the Zeeks. So I think what we'll do is we will, you know, what? I'm not even gonna bother to refill this one. Let's just stop the engine. We'll change the truck. <clears throat> fire this thing up all right so let's get this truck refueled and we will uh, probably actually here yes we can beautiful all right we will haul the scout vehicle basically as far back as we can because uh, it does have the trailer on it so I do want to try to at least sell that and yeah I think it's uh it's pretty straightforward out of here so I'm gonna I'm gonna say there's no need for to look at the map at least at least not yet uh we could have taken the ice that probably would have been faster but we did that route to get here so Let's, uh, let's take this route since we're already attempting it. And, and, and this is, this is the reason why I took the ice last time. Right now, I really don't care if the scout flips over. There's nothing on top of the, uh, the trailer, so. But yeah, if we, uh, if we tried doing this, we probably would have been in a little bit more pain than what we were, so... And as you guys can probably still hear, I am still getting over my cold, so that's one reason why this episode is a little late. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? And right now I gotta get over this rock. And we're stuck. Try to get over this way. Can we can we get a little help from our friends here? Can we get a little push? There's actually two songs there. I just yeah, I just thought of that. Um, obviously the one was. Uh, a fairly popular song, um, but I believe it, I mean, the version I know is Joe Crocker, uh, but I believe it was originally the Beatles before that. I think maybe even the Beatles covered it. Not 100% sure on that. Let me know in the comments if, if I'm right or wrong on that. Uh, but then there's another one. Whoops. Oh, that was a, that was a fun little uh, dig right there. The other one was, uh, oh yeah, that's that's another reason why we took the ice. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take the ice. Uh, the other one was by Billy Joel, and I didn't quite finish uh, the song lyric, but a little push and you'll be smiling. I believe that is from Piano Man. 
No, that's not right. I gotta get out of the ice. Crap. I can't think of the song now. I know it's not Piano Man. It's... Maybe it is Piano Man. Anyways, not important. Uh... Uh, you guys didn't know this was gonna be a song quiz, did you? Yeah. Neither did I. Um... Where is the road? Okay, there's the road. The question is, is do we have to go... Oh, yep, we keep going that way. Alright, me... Ooh. The timber shipment is in blind territory, so... I think what we'll do is we'll head out to this road. We'll take a right, and then we'll take a left. And then once we get to the main road, we can uh, say goodbye to the... To the yard. And we can uh, do a little bit of scouting with this truck. I'm kind of shocked that uh, we didn't get hung up there on that tree. I took it just a little too close. Nice little drag all the way out here. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the little scenes that I cut in. I haven't done it in I think a couple episodes, but it was it's one of those things where I'm like, okay, I can I can edit these in and it's cool. I learned how to edit those in and, and whatnot, but um I don't want to edit in the same one over and over and over again, right? seems kind of silly um, I don't know if it would get annoying uh, but yeah let me know what you guys think I, it's if I come up with a great uh, movie scene or something like that that I remember or TV show scene that applies obviously I'll, I'll totally put it in uh, but it has been a while since I've come across one of these uh, things that have happened where I can relate it to that so I don't want to force any. That's that's the thing I don't want to do. Uh, but anyways, we'll leave that there. Uh, you know what? I mean, let's let's actually go back and grab it real quick. We can leave it here, or we can drag it another twenty feet, and it will just be that much closer when we go to actually return the trailer. So. not really hurting us right now. Alright, look at that slop. Hmm, gotta love that slop. Alright, I think this is where the road kind of splits off. I'm gonna pull this through. Because I have a feeling the Yarbo struggle a little bit through here, where the bigger vehicle will just kind of cruise through. And then we can take, we can take this trail to hopefully where we need to go. Let's just drop that there right in the middle so it will be in the way next time we come through, which guaranteed it will be in the way. There is no uh, ifs, ands, or buts about it. Hey, I finally got a saying right. That's amazing. And uh, yes, we are here in Mandra, which I believe I am finally pronouncing correctly. Um, we have a bit of a problem. We have another wonderful, wonderful bridge that is out. Um... It looks like it is crossable. I think we cross down here and then we have to jet cross the other side of the bridge to get up, but... I think it's doable. If I can attach to the bridge... There's no attachment points, go figure. 
Um, yeah, I think, I think we can do this. You know what? Let's just do it and see what happens. If we get stuck, we're screwed. Um, but no, no, it's pretty shallow, so we're good. Probably, probably helps to try to avoid hitting the, uh, the rock right there, the boulder, the cliff, whatever you want to call that. The 100,000 ton, uh, rock face. Alright, let's weave our way through here. It doesn't look like that bridge is going to be something that we can repair. So that's a little on the sad side, but maybe we don't have to come over here very often. That that could be a very good possibility. Maybe this is the only time we have to come over here. Uh, there is a trailer, so that's that's nice. They gave us a trailer. Uh, I did not get points for it, so that's fun. Ah, uh, you know what that means? That means that's part of a, uh, task. Um, not a very good way to get through here. Yep, let's, uh, run over some pine trees. And we'll go this way. Seems like a very odd place to uh, pick up wooden planks, but let me do one thing really quick. Let's scan through the tasks that we have open. And nope. That doesn't appear like we need wood planks again. Uh, where is it? There it is. logs this should all be logging or other tasks which is kind of nice to see that we're now doing other tasks besides uh, logging Oops. okay nope looks like this is it that is uh, all we'll do we'll take the two Hopefully this is all the tasks. I mean, we technically haven't uncovered the entire map, so there's probably tasks out there where you will need. And because... Is there anything else out here? Timber shipment. Alright, well, you know what? I'm going to leave it there for now. I was going to haul it across. Um, but if I haul it across and it will be here, chances are we need it for a mission that goes this way. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just leave it where it is for now. It's fine. <clears throat> the problem with this, uh, this map is even the main roads are tough and they're hard to get through. So. You know, if you can, if usually if you can haul those to a main intersection or a main road, then you'll be good. But I just, I have that strange feeling that I, I, I'll be hauling it farther away than what I need. And maybe it is, maybe it's just a, uh, a glitch trailer where I didn't really get the points for it. I mean, I don't need the points. I, th I think we've maxed out points long, long ago, and they've never. They've never come up with a reason to have points anymore. Um, I think we've unlocked all the points anyways. So yeah, it, it's, it's one of those weird things. Alright, let's get up through here. We've got two loads of lumber, that's good. Zoom out a little bit. I 
wonder how the dairy longhorn. I think uh, I think once we open up the garage, we'll uh, we'll try it, try out the dairy because that's still that's still one of my favorite trucks. The Azov, I believe, is a be better truck, but that truck is it's kind of almost like a point and shoot truck, if you, if you know what I mean. Like, you don't really have to think about what you're doing. You just hold the gas down and steer the thing. And you're pretty much golden anywhere you go. But I don't know. I also haven't really used it in this area. So that may be another... <coughs> another truck that we try using. Let's see how that does. It's, it, it is definitely one of the favorites, I believe. I'll have to find out what website I was on, that it, it, it basically showed every truck in the game and it would rank them and give you a, it was kind of like a percentage, um, the overall score out of 100. This one actually scored in the, I think it was the 50s or 60s, and uh, I, think it, I think it got that score because of the overhang. Maybe it also contributed in the fact that you actually have paid, you know, real gold money for this truck. But, um, yeah. And for a couple of viewers out there, there were comments about how you just had to drive up to one of the doors on this garage to unlock it. And that may have been, um, before in the past. But there is, there is definitely no place to drive up to. Um, I did drive up to it in the, the one episode where I, um, well, where I forgot to record it or whatever happened to it. It was the lost episode. <clears throat> uh, we're just going to go straight through. It's not even, let's not even bother trying to go around. Uh, we do need to shift though. That is very crucial. These tasks, I believe we have all these figured out. Um, so those will just get knocked off the list as soon as, as soon as we get this garage. Open. Um, I do want to check. Ooh, I'm glad I checked. I totally. Hmm. Yeah, I totally blundered that one, didn't I? Uh, we could go up and around. You know what? No. No, I think we're good. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Let's drop the scout off there. Uh, I did want to get fuel. Let's, uh... Steal all the fuel out of the yard. Okay, that's that should be good. Let's hope it. The yard is basically just dead. Uh, but yeah, I, I probably should have stopped and refueled it. I don't know why I was thinking we got through the uh, to the trailer store before we got to the point where we had to turn off. But you know what? That's what happens when you don't check your map. <coughs> I did it in Michigan. I did it in Alaska. I did it in Russia. And I'm doing it again in Russia. Well, it looks like this trail hasn't been used in quite some time. A lot of little little pines growing all over it. We will uh, clear those out. Up this way, didn't we? Once before, yeah, we went to the watchtower. Ooh, I should have known. Should have known this way was pretty tough. But uh, we'll definitely stick more towards the trail. 
if, if you can call it a trail. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Yeah, I figured I should probably uh, put one of those scenes in once we, uh, once I was talking about it earlier in the episode, so um, this is definitely one of those scenes, but I had to put it in. All right, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just let the truck decide which way it wants to go. It was not going to go this way. It's going to go up and over the rocks, but I guess this side works too. As long as we don't get wedged in. But yeah, the, the fact that they consider this a trail is, uh, no, I lost my momentum. I will lost all my momentum. Come on, get over that. Get over that rock. There you go. Whew, that was close. That was close. All right. <clears throat> Let's uh, continue up this mountain and okay so apparently the trail goes that way I guess we'll follow suit because that does not look like it would be fun to go over There's a nice little path through here. I mean, there is there is a little path, a clearing, I guess, is the best way to s describe it, of, of no rocks. And now you have to drive across this really bad incline. Um, and then we head back downhill, I'm guessing. Oh, good, good. They actually made the trail disappear here, so it's a it's a choose your own adventure trail. Come on, rotate down the hill. Oh, are you kidding me? Let's try to back this up. Maybe we'll get lucky. Or maybe we'll just high center ourselves and be completely stuck. <clears throat> there we go. All right, down we go. It's funny because yeah, the the part that they show as not being a trail at all is more like a trail than anything else that we just went through. So yeah, okay, good. Good to know. I think that's how that that pretty much sums up the description of this map. If you had to describe it to somebody. All right, we gotta go left to there. Ooh, what is that? It's a nice little vehicle. That looks like that vehicle. Hmm, maybe we'll have to go check that out. Okay, so we definitely gotta go left here. Oh, give me a... What is it attaching to? Sometimes, I swear. There we go. That's what I wanted to do, get the front end turned. Uh, nope, still, still ahead. Is it that path there? It is that path. <coughs> That's not nice. It looks like it would be easier to come up here and come down. Well, I guess let's give it a shot. Okay, it doesn't look like we have any trees that we can actually attack. Oh, there's one. Hmm. 
do have some trees that we can attach to. None, none will pull this truck up. Come on, don't be hit. I feel like, is that not a winch point? I feel like that should be a winch point, but maybe it will be after we um, drop in here. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, that, you know what? That makes sense. This is why the power lines are made out of wood. Nice. So the other one is across the fjord. Or is it across? I don't. Ugh. Hmm. I think we have to go back down. How do we get across? How do we do this? Um. Maybe that route. Maybe this route. Could we squeeze over this part? Um, let's go to morning, where it's so much brighter. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going. There's, there doesn't really seem to be a reason to back down. Except to go get, probably should have went and got that truck. Yep. And now there's no winch point. Let's see if we can't weasel our way through here. Well, that's not gonna work. All right, uh, let's try this a couple more times. And then I can get the tire. Up over this rock. Nope, we pretty much end up... Oh, 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 we did it! I uh, did not expect that to actually work. Okay, so we gotta go way over there. Sorry, I am, I am still kind of coughing from my cold, so... Um, every once in a while you'll hear the mic go down. Uh, where to go? Like, it's saying here, this is all clip. So, I guess we try to go down here. It seems a little impassable. Mainly because of those three trees there. Um, let's see here. We're gonna have to do some fancy uh, winch work here. Rocket back and forth, pulling ever so slightly. Mm 
Yeah, guess what, guys? We are horribly stuck now. <laughs> um... I mean, we can kind of try to glitch through that tree. Well, I think we're stuck. Hmm. Yeah, they, they totally did that on purpose. They made it so that... I, I think the best plan of action would have been to... Um, probably would have been to try to go down the face. There's nothing on this side of the, tr the truck that it can winch us, winch us over in that direction. Let's go the other way. Took a little bit of damage. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How did we just get through that? What are we stuck on now? I think it's the back. It's stuck on that tree that we kind of glitched through. Suppose we glitch through it. Come on, let go. Let go. I know you want to let go. Yes. Okay, now we have a bigger problem. Uh, let's just try the mouse. It's going to take forever to try to... Little winch point. Can I turn the truck on its side? See if I can back up a little bit. Open just a little bit more. Let's get back up there before I can break on. There is a winch point here. I don't know. I just need the tree to bounce off to the side. We can get the, the cab to... ...to squeak by. We're, ever, we're getting ever so close. back in to do something weird. Alright, this is definitely going to call for a mouse. Um, I 
Oh, yeah, let's honk at it. Maybe that would work. A little bit of engine damage. That's not surprising. More engine damage. Hmm, that is a little surprising. But the tree is slowly... Going in that direction. <clears throat> I do this over to here. Can we get the truck to twist? Ah, let's try that again. What? Ah, oh, I'm out of range. Patch. That one. Oh, not that one. Not that one. That one? Yeah. Okay, I can get the truck to start to twist. I, th I think we're SOL. I, I really do. I know we have more fuel. In fact, we could refuel this because I don't... I don't think we're going to... Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get out of this. Um, so note to, to everyone who's playing, don't go down this route. It's bad. They did it on purpose. You're, you're better off just dropping off the face of the rock and hoping that you, you make it down. All right, so we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do a lot of driving to um to fix this mistake. I mean, definitely, I'm I'm not gonna be able to go that way, for sure. Even if I do have something strong to winch on. Ugh. That's just not gonna happen. Try that one, see if that's... Oh, can't get the truck to sit up, I can't do anything. I can get that tree to, to freak out though. I need a chainsaw, that's what I need. I need a chainsaw right now. Ah, all right guys, I think. I think that's all she wrote for through here. I, I'm honestly, I'm shocked we got through that path. Um, it's just, it is not gonna let us go through this tree. Even if I do something like this. Mm. And try to go back to this. Hey, what? Ah. Uh. Wiggle back and forth, maybe. Yeah. I 
it's just not, it's just not happening. Well, I can keep going until I run out of gas. Try a different anchor point. Maybe something like that. Nope. Not that one. That one? All I gotta do is get down there. The fact that I can't get the truck to twist either. Like, I want it more on its side to see it around this tree. Right? Like, there's nothing to attach to. Let's just pull all these stupid winch points out of the way. Can I, uh... Maybe honking would help. I mean, it is causing us to slide a little bit more over, isn't it? Let's see, let's try one more time. Um, I can see. You. Bend what? hate to say it, but I think I'm going to have to call this one a defeat. Um, the developers definitely put these trees right where they wanted to. I probably never should have attempted it, to tell you the truth. Just, it's so close to getting through here. It's so close. All it's got to do is go up and over that little lip and go around that tree, but... Alright, I, I think I've wasted enough time on this. Um, we are going to have to just call it what it is.
Um, that's me officially giving up and uh, repairing or uh, recovering, which means we gotta go all the way back to late COVID. Oh, I should have known better. I should have known better. First of all, let's get. I don't. I'm not a fan of the this little sideboard. This three compartment holder just doesn't do any good. In fact, it actually hurts us because then we can't pull a trailer. Like that would be better. Can we not have a loading crane on end. I mean, that's a fuel. Can we not do that and then have a crane? Oh, okay. That's how that works. Well, that could be an option. That could be an option there. I mean, that's, that's pretty much the same option, right? Um, I guess you lose one cargo slot. But you do gain half a truckload of fuel and 450 repair points, which unless we're actually doing a repair mission, I, I, I hardly ever use my repair points. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's grab the tart. Oh no, the tartans over here. Let's recover this guy. Um. We have to change maps. We can't use that truck because we stole all the fuel out of it. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Not, uh, not my smartest thing I did was taking all the fuel out of here. Because <clears throat> we could go get at least the lumber. But we have absolutely no fuel in this thing. And the only other truck on this map is here. Ah, <sighs> alright, well, you know what? Oops. Apparently I forgot how to use SnowRunner controls. Ah, I'm just, I'm frustrated. Uh, let's go to the garage. Wow, you guys were not lying when you said this was a hard map. Um, we can't do anything with that truck. We could, I, I did say. We do have to put chains on this, though. Geez, do I want all chains? Yes. Um, we could honestly use... Let's store this little warthog. Um... Where's my other Azoth? Is that just floating around somewhere on a map? Yes, yes it is. That art honestly has chains on it. And this thing is stuck. Alright, um... I guess let's recover this one too. Uh, where is it? Recover? Thank you. Alright. <clears throat> what do we do? Do we take 
both these trucks. I, I think we do. I think we take both the trucks. Alright, um... Yeah. We're gonna take both the trucks and we're gonna head over there. We are bringing low saddle. Is that a bad idea to bring all low saddle? Yes, it is. Um, let's change trucks. Let's grab flatbed for this guy. Uh, where was it? Frame add-ons. Yeah. What? Oh, what? Do I need the crane? Uh, yes, just in case. In case we roll over. In case something else happens. Alright, let's get this mission back on track. And uh, yeah, we've got a long, long little hike ahead of us. I guess we can put all-wheel drive on. That should help us. There's nobody driving the truck behind me. What is going on? Oh, wait. Oh, yep. Should probably pay attention to where I'm going. Let's uh let's try that again. And instantly get stuck. That's that's not a good sign. I don't remember. It's been a while. Uh, we gotta get over here. So yeah, we gotta kind of go that direction. Be a, a nice long track back. I will uh, I'll go all the way to the end of the episode and then I will probably not record me driving to probably the staging area which will be the trailer store on uh, Amidra Amandra sorry I did pronounce it wrong again go figure uh, but yeah, I think that's what I'll do. We'll uh, just kind of take an easy cruise out. Something a little less stressful. As long as I don't fall into the river. Or get become horribly, horribly stressed. Stuck. I can speak. And yeah, that, uh, that was a big disappointment there. That was a, that was a big letdown. I, um, I really only had myself to I, I never, I should have looked at that knowing but I knew, I knew when I looked at it that the truck wouldn't fit. And the fact that I got past the first one was pretty crazy to me. Um, but let, let this be known, I don't always complete my missions. And I could easily blame it on my cold, you know, poor decision making. But uh, really, 
be honest. Uh, what is the best way to get through here? I guess we'll just keep heading this way. Uh, we gotta cross because, yeah, this is all ice. And apparently my truck behind me is trying to mount me. That's probably not helping that much. And we're stuck, just like that. Let's, uh, let's cross over here where it's not so breaky icy. And there is some. I don't know if I can reach this thing. Yep, that should break right about there. And that's why we bring two trucks. Alright, let's... Let's just go ahead and head up the coast like this. This should be fine. I'm not gonna lie, I actually feel like we're going faster this way too. Let's pay attention to where we're going, because that's... Obviously most important there. The only downside to these trucks is they don't come with extra fuel. So we do have to rely on just the fuel that we bring with us. So on that note, go ahead and refuel our 10 gallons or so that we've lost. Head up this trail. <laughs> I think what we're gonna do is you know what? I'm gonna end this episode now. It may be a little short. Uh, I'm gonna make this drive, and then once we get into Amandra. We will then pick up the recording on the next episode. Um, just so you guys get to see the map a little bit more. Maybe we'll end up going a different route too. Uh, we do have, thanks to EJ, one of my uh, longtime viewers. And uh, honestly, a uh, man of all secrets. Uh, we do know that once we get to uh, Amandra, the upgrade for the all-wheel drive for the twin steer is just to the right of the entrance point. So maybe we'll make a special trip to get that, because I feel like the last couple episodes, not a whole lot has been done. And uh, this episode, we got absolutely nothing done. Well, not, not true. We did drop off one load of lumber, so we do have that going for us. So not all hope is lost, but... Um, it was pretty close today, so anyways, I'm going to end this episode here as we uh, bog down in the mud. And yeah, we will, we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.